do you guys struggle as much as i do with these bale spikes try to get your different bales all around the farm where you need them whether it be your your sheep your pigs or your cows well then i got the answer for you this bad boy right here it's an auto load bale grab if you enjoyed today's video make sure to hit like subscribe and turn on your notifications yep that's right folks the pro bale grab auto load right here by black sheep modding released on september 13th 2023 and i think it kind of flew underneath the radar a little bit what this thing's gonna let you do is auto load your bales while you're handling them moving them around the farm so say you got some sheep that you need to feed well take your hay or your grass put it up on here and take it over there you don't have to use the bale spikes anymore and you don't have to use an auto load trailer either and like you know make it really awkward trying to get into some of those different locations easiest way to find this mod is to go down to your mods and dlc section in your store go across to the pro bale grab auto load and in here you can see there's a lot of different configurations the two primary things that you're going to see is the pro bale sb which is square bales and the pro bale rb which is round bales now if you look up at the top it doesn't really say anything about what these are except round and square typically it's where you're going to see your information what you do Click on the first one right here. You can see that it's going to be for your telehandlers. You can also configure this for a front loader, a wheel loader, or even a three-point hitch like you saw it on my John Deere tractor right there at the start. Come down here, main color. They're all the base game colors. You don't get anything additional, just all your base game stuff right here. And if you come over and you take a look at your round bales, it's going to be the exact same thing. Telehandler, front loader, wheel loader, or three-point hitch. Now, some of these are three bales high on these square bales, and some of them are four. I just grabbed the first one right here and it was four bales. So that's what we're going to be doing here today. The bales I've got are 240 centimeter bales. So this thing's actually pretty easy to work with. I'm just going to be using the three point here because that's going to be like the cheapest option. You don't have to reconfigure your tractor, anything like that. You can use it on the front or on the back. I'm going to go and hook it up to the front and it's just super easy. You pull up right here. Now this one is configured for the three point. You can see my help menu up there in the top left hand corner. I do have the pro bale auto load selected right now. What I'm going to do is go ahead and hit my L1 and I want to go ahead and lower this down. It's going to help out just a little bit with what we're trying to do and start auto load now with the square. You can see that those spikes kind of wrapped around just to the front a little bit. Now, all we have to do is go ahead and just go up right here and boom, it, it grabbed it, right? Now, the one thing that I have noticed that it kind of every once in a while, you got to kind of be a little bit tricky with it and you kind of got to get like over to the side of it just a little bit. And then it should grab them. See like that right there. So kind of be careful. Watch out for that just a little bit. Sometimes it likes to throw them around a little bit. But most of the time, I'm able to get this thing working pretty good. Now, it's it's not 100%. The trigger is a little bit small on that. And I'll show you that here in just a second. So now once you've got them on, now how do you raise them up? Well, pretty simple with this one. All you do is go ahead and lift your auto load circle again. It's going to raise it up. You can take them anywhere you want. Now, guys, I can seriously hit anything I want to with this. And these things are not going to fall off. They are 100% here. It's not going anywhere at all. I just tried to hit the building and I couldn't even do that. Let me show you again. I'm going to go hit this over here pretty fast. And yeah, they, it's because they're auto load. They, they don't technically exist right now. What do you do whenever you want to get them unloaded? Well, pretty simple. You can leave them up in the air or you could go ahead and lower it down again. Then unload your bales, hit your L1 and your triangle, and it's going to take them off. Boom. Now you got a nice, perfect stack right there. Say you've got an auto load feature like what we've got here right behind us. This is an auto load bale storage facility. Start your auto load, come up, boom. Now that's the easiest way to do this. If you've got these things already stacked up, it's really, really easy. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and back up into right here. And I'm going to put them into the storage now. Pretty simple. All you do, unload bales, boom. There you go. Absolutely the easiest thing you could do to move these around and it's going to work the exact same way if you've got a, a straw point or something like that auto load it set them straight down it's going to start filling them up right if you don't use all of them then you can pick up what's left move it out of the way super super easy another thing i want to show you guys right here is this is configured as a wheel loader and it's going to be able to go all the way over so if you've got a stack of them kind of like in a row behind they're not stacked up but like two or three deep and a couple high that's going to be how you're going to be able to get to them pretty easy and another thing you could do is actually show the trigger, right? So you want to close the cover on this L1 and up. That's going to be your actual trigger right there. You could even say, see that it says trigger. You don't have to have that active. You could see how small it truly is. So that's why sometimes it's a little bit tricky to get these bales. I'm going to go and turn that back off. And then I'm going to go up here, lower it down. I'm going to start the auto load and we're going to go up and see how many of these we could actually pick up. 
Now, if you guys remember the beginning part of the video, this thing was not handling even one bale. Very easy, right? I mean, super, super easy now because these don't have any weight to them. Once you do auto load, they lose their weight. Now, if you unload them, yes, they're absolutely going to have their weight again. But whenever they're in the auto load status like this, they don't weigh anything. So you can use some incredibly small equipment to move your bales around the farm. And like I was saying before, you could put one of these on the front and one of these on the back of your tractors and go around and actually collect your bales. So I'm going to go ahead and start my auto load here on the front. Boom. That one is pretty easy. With the round bales here, sometimes you just got to get them over here on the side just a little bit like that. And it's going to be good to go. All right, so now I've got three on the front, three on the back, and I'm going to take this over to one of my other favorite auto loads. And I'm going to show you guys that even if you don't want to play like super cheaty, you want to play a little bit realistic, this is a really cool way to be able to do it without causing a whole lot of headaches. So my auto load trailer right here, I've already got it turned on. It's engaged. The auto load feature is working. What I need to do now, go ahead and go up here to the front, and then I'm just going to go ahead and unload these bales, and boom, right there. Perfect, right? We're going to do the exact same thing. Go to the back. I'm just going to switch over here, unload these bales, and there you go. Now I can take these anywhere I want to, put them in my storage, and it's just another way to play the game where you're playing a little bit more realistic, but you're not having that headache of having to manually load up all these bales. Now the last thing I want to share is what other mods are compatible with this as far as your bale sizes go. Well, anything that creates a, a base game size. All right, so Mark Thor's Quick Bale right here. It produces bales, even though they are 50,000 liters on the straw, they are the base game size. So you can see that one of these bales right here is actually 50,000 liters, and these are the same ones that I just loaded onto that trailer over there. And unfortunately, I found out that in my testing, the high capacity, the ones that go like nine times, those are not compatible with this. But Mark Thor's quick bale, it absolutely works. Well, that's going to be it for today, everybody. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a like if you would. Make sure to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications to keep up to date on my future videos. While you're waiting on those future videos, go and check out one of these two right here. Have a great day, night, evening, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53, signing off.